What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I make money from home selling my items on Shopify. So in this video, though, I'm going to mention a few major points which I'm gonna start off with influencer marketing, capturing data, Facebook ads, scaling your audience, Instagram feeds, customer service, and leaving reviews. So first, I'm gonna start off with influencer marketing. So at one point I did not have the Instagram followers or YouTube subscribers that I had today. So I did use influencer marketing for some of my businesses. Now the way that I would use influencer marketing before I knew about Facebook ads is I would schedule out days where different influencers or different people with significant followings in certain type of niches or niches, depending on how you say it, um, would post on Monday, um, through Sunday on consecutive days for four weeks. So then I would make arrangements with anywhere from three to five influencers. Person one is on Monday for the next consecutive four weeks. Person two is on Wednesday for the next consecutive four weeks. And then person three is on Friday for the next consecutive four weeks. And then person four is on Sundays for the next next consecutive four weeks. This time is super essential because this is where you're gonna capture data. You're gonna be able to see your analytics and see which influencer captured the most sales, which influencers had their items added to the cart the most, and which influencers made it all the way to checkout, which influencers led people to put certain items in their cart, which influencers led certain people to hover over certain items. From there, you wanna capture your data. The more data that you have, the more that you can pinpoint your target audience when you are retargeting, you can convert when you then get into Facebook ads. For a basic membership, you can see your total sales, your conversion percentage, your online store session, your average order value, total orders, top products sold by units, top products sold by country, online sessions by certain um, traffic sources, sales per traffic source, as well as what people are shopping on. Are they shopping on mobile? Are they shopping on tablet? Are they sh shopping on desktop? This data obviously in Shopify is important because then it allows you to either scale and continue to work with the influencer or to back off working with the influencer. The more data that you capture, the easier it is to convert when you then go into Facebook ads. Now, Facebook ads is a beast in a good way and a bad way. It's definitely one of those things where you have to spend a lot of time and energy learning the system. And you also have to be okay with kind of losing money to, certain, to a certain extent. But once you got your formula down, it's all green dollar signs from there. So with Facebook ads, it's nice because you can create an ad and I'm sure you guys have all seen these, whether it be in stories or whether it be in your feed, even if it's something that you shopped on a page like a week ago for some shoes and then you're on Instagram and you're scrolling and you see the same shoes that are on your Instagram feed. Facebook retargets you on Instagram. Cookies allow you advertisers to basically retarget their audience and if you're on Instagram or Facebook and me as a business owner is running a Facebook ad to somebody who was on my website, I can directly retarget you. Once you have the data from your Facebook pixel, which is on your Shopify account, which I have all of this information in the series that um, I did on how to start a business with a $500 budget. If you wanna go ahead and see how to insert your Facebook pixel into your website on Shopify so that you can capture all of this data, you guys can go ahead and watch this video right here. It explains permits, um, Facebook pixel, and a lot of essential information. The Facebook pixel basically tracks all of the people that went to your site as you were using the influencer marketing. It targets the people who were adding things to the car. It targets people who were hovering over certain products. It targets people who frequently visit your site, and it allows them to basically say, this is the type of person who shops these items. Let me go ahead and duplicate that times 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, depending on what you're paying on Facebook. And let's redirect and run an ad to these people and let's try to get them to convert or to add to cart. Once you spend some money and some trial and error on Facebook, I was then able to convert a very large amount of money monthly from my Shopify store. You can also watch videos on YouTube, there's, there's so many videos to choose from from different people. The thing that I did when I first started out is I immersed myself in so much information. I'll also follow that up with, once you've immersed yourself in a lot of different information, see what person or what structure has resonated with you, try it, full out, and then if it works, repeat the cycle. If there's things that you can switch and tweak, go ahead and tweak that as well. Another tip is watch people who inspire you, who are doing good in business, 
and I guarantee you, you're gonna move in some type of way. So if you are the person that needs to listen to positivity, go to Audible. If you're somebody who needs to be visual and watch something, go on YouTube. There's so many people who are inspiring, who have started probably where you are and who are successful. So many girl boss entrepreneurs right now that are killing it, especially in quarantine. In 16 days, Be Simone Beauty made this amount of money. I don't know, I don't know if it's right or wrong to show y'all, to show y'all my numbers but I feel like it's right in my heart because I know my intentions are it's not to brag, not to boast, not to be prideful, not to be arrogant, not to have an ego. My intentions are to show you the journey and show you if I can do it, you can do it. And y'all have been on this journey with me five years ago when I was on the floor, five years ago when I was waitressing, crying on Snapchat, five years ago when I was struggling telling y'all my story, making ranting videos. If I could show y'all the bad, why not show y'all the good? Why not show y'all the light at the end of the tunnel? So I I'm still floored by these numbers. And, and let me tell you, in November, my goal was to have a $100,000 month. Y'all are gonna watch this journey for the next 50 days. And on April 5th, I will have a million dollars in my savings account. By April 5th, 2020, I will be a millionaire. I want to have a million dollars saved, tangible, liquid, in my hand, visually see those zeros in my account by my 30th birthday. Well, that was my second car I got when I was, what, 21? So we are gonna sell it to Toyota today. Be Simone's closet, sold out, sold out. I have not done hair in two and a half years. I'm doing hair today. I have so much money. That's the exact number. She did it, Jordan. I cannot believe this. <laughs> On April 5th, Ooh. 2020. Oh my god. My savings account has just look at my savings. And what we are going to do is transfer over my one dollar. Yeah. My four quarters so my savings can have a million dollars in it. Make transfer. One dollar. We're just gonna transfer. All I had to do was be faithful and patient and show God that I was dedicated. We worked so hard for 50 days and literally the last seven days of this journey, Crazy. we made $500,000 this week. Yeah. Crazy. All God was saying was be faithful, be committed, show that you're dedicated. I'm gonna surprise you at the end. Yeah. I got you, that's it. Our goal was to make 300,000. We made 500,000 in seven days. Anybody that knows me know I don't give up my money. It's not about the money. The money is going to come. You have to build a strong team. You have to have people around you that believe in you. I have friends in here. I've been friends with Megan for 17 years. Me and Pharaoh moved to Atlanta together. Skittles worked for me for a year for free. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before she asked for one dollar, Jamika has been with B Simone Beauty for six months, and the first three months she was working for B Simone Beauty, she had to walk to the post office because she didn't have a car. Yeah, yeah. I am not here by myself. The people in this room have contributed to every dollar in my account, yeah. and I'm so grateful. Everybody in this room has contributed to every dollar in my pocket. I did not make this money alone. When people say they're self-made, they're lying. I am not self-made. I would have never been able to do this without my team. Yeah. As you can see, all the bottles, she has us inspect all the bottles. These are like reject bottles because, let me show you. Let me see. Let me see. 28,000 people right now. Four thousand three hundred ninety-one. Hey. Ninety-four people are checking out. Thirteen thousand people are building carts. You're still in the it's first two minutes. People. You're still yeah. in the first two minutes. And you still got thirty-two thousand people on the site still. So oh wait, let's see if Jaden made her post. She hasn't made it yet. I wouldn't get the notification. Oh, well, you're a half a million in five minutes. Almost. Almost. 
<laughs> Pass the peak. Like we <laughs> ah! It's almost there. If you are at home quarantining and you want something to listen to throughout the day, you can go ahead and try Audible. Audible has so many Audible books on marketing, Facebook in 2020, and social media in 2020. Listening to audiobooks at the start of your day to get you up and inspired and in the uh, consistent mode of continuously learning is a great tip. It really helps me personally. If you guys are interested, Audible is actually offering unlimited Audible originals as well as one free audiobook when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text findguru to 500-500. Now, I know I am giving tips for people who already have stores or already are active. And I understand that not everyone is in that place yet. My biggest tip would be for anybody who is even thinking about starting a business, start an Instagram feed right now. Recycle content that has to do with your niche. So for example, if you're somebody who likes fashion and you're wanting to start a clothing brand, start a clothing fashion page right now. If you're somebody who likes shoes and wants to start a shoe brand, go ahead and start a shoe page right now. And some people might say, how do you get followers? How do you get people to engage with you? It's gonna be so hard. It's much harder to get people to follow a business page versus an inspo page, so I would start right now. There are some really good examples of people who have really good niche pages that then turn into business. So for example, you'll see pages on Instagram that post a whole bunch of cute pictures or of a whole bunch of cute outfits or sunglasses or jewelry or shoes or whatever. Now, there's people that are following these pages because they're posting inspo or people like the aesthetic. Now imagine if any one of these brands at any point wanted to start selling the items that they, that they post frequently. So for example, this page, if they started selling women's clothes right now, I guarantee you a large percentage of the women on this page are following because of the inspo that they get from fashion. Now if they were selling the inspo, you got a win-win. So for those of you who don't have your business yet and you're waiting to get your Instagram feed page set up and then when you're ready to start and you're ready to launch then at that point you already have the followers another way that I was able to scale my business was through my customer service email follow-up and email support right now would be the perfect time to check in with your customers even your old customers check in with them give them proper email support and let them know that you're there to help them if they do have an outstanding package or if they were a customer from a few months ago. Shopify does have certain apps that make it easy for you to follow up with your customers through automated email so that you can engage and start a conversation. Another thing that helped me scale with my companies was reviews. Take in consideration when I am starting a brand or running a, a business is what do I like when I am a consumer? The first thing that I do is I scroll down to the reviews and I see what other people are saying. Another thing that you can use through Shopify, encourage those who have supported your brand to leave a review. Leaving reviews will definitely help you boost your conversion rates for people who are viewing specific products. For an increase in conversion rate for future customers and it also adds social proof. Taking these steps that I gave you in this video, video I did the same thing and I just repeated the cycle. Studying your data as a business owner, especially when you're doing it by yourself when you're starting out, is super essential to your growth. One of the most important tips that I can give is do not stop learning. Whether that's you watching videos or listening to audiobooks, reading books, do not stop learning. There's so much free content on Facebook ads and marketing in 2020 that you can easily available to all of us, whether that's on YouTube, Google, or even through certain apps. Another challenge that I have for you is if you're at home and you're quarantining and you are trying to start or elevate your business, spend one whole week only consuming content that's going to help your brand, whether that be through audiobooks or even watching video content. Yeah, so that concludes today's video and some of the tips that I use for my business to scale. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments below. Don't forget you guys can get unlimited Audible originals right now as well as one free audiobook when you go to www.audible.com 
facebook.com slash find guru or text find guru to 500 500 thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next upload